let's take a look at how we can achieve some real-time collaboration in our live lessons using Microsoft Teams. For this example, I'm using PowerPoint because the advantage of using PowerPoint is it's very easy to set a particular slide for a particular uh, pupil. So I've created the template and I've duplicated all the pages that the children are going to work on and I've named them uh, by each pupil. You might encourage the children to uh, find their particular slide that they're working on via register order, uh, but it shouldn't take too long for them to find their correct slide. We can use PowerPoint for manipulation, for example, in this case, uh, labeling diagrams. We can also use it to provide a scaffold for writing. So once I've finished stage one, I've created the PowerPoint template, I'm ready for the next step, which is to log into my class team. This class team is called 5DB. I've created my own channel for live lessons simply by clicking on the three dots and adding and naming the channel. So what I'm going to do now is go to the files section of my live lesson channel and upload the particular PowerPoint I've been working on. Now if I upload this file to this particular channel, children will have read and write access to it. That means we can all work on it at the same time for some real time collaboration. Uh, it might also uh, be useful when I start the lesson to send a link to this to make sure children can find it. I just better create the live lesson itself. I'm going to double click and call this water cycle. I'm going to add my channel. It's class 5db, live lessons, click send, and then the children will be able to find that and join the live lesson. Let's join this lesson now. And I'll also get a test pupil to join this live lesson. So they've logged into the team. They can see the live lesson has started. So they're going to click join. So once the children have joined, I might want to use the conversation element to share the particular file that we're working on today. So I can click on the attach icon and browse my teams and channels to find the particular resource. You can browse through the various class teams you have until you find the channel and the resource share a link to it and then send that to the conversation thread. It means then that the children can easily find the resource. Let's go back to the pupil. Just maximize their screen and they can have a look at the conversation. They can click and join that particular file. They can find their page. start to do their activity. Now if I go back to the team meeting and open the PowerPoint myself, I can see where the various pupils are working. I can see pupil one's made a start, dragging their labels. Um, I can see pupil one is in the right space. Meanwhile, pupil one can see that I've joined their slide. They can see me there and we can uh, work on this slide together or I can quickly jump down and have a look at another pupil. If pupil two is having a, a few problems, maybe I want to uh, talk to them over the Teams meeting or maybe I want to you know, insert a particular a message, an audio comment, uh, a text box. I can open this in the desktop app as well, just so I've got the full functionality of PowerPoint. You can use the view option in your PowerPoint to see the slide sort of view. This way you can uh, see all the children, how they're progressing, jump into any particular one slide at a time, see if they need any help, give any feedback you want. So we can achieve real-time collaboration in a Teams lesson to 
support children as they work.